Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Marvel Monday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman. And today I will be presenting you with the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary Iron Man. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just to help the channel out further. Either, or, or both. All of the above. Awesome. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, let's get into it. As is usual here on Digital Caveman Presents, we will start off with a look at the packaging. And just an overview of the packaging. It's very, very reminiscent of that original Toy Biz packaging, although it's not in that super difficult to frustratingly hard to get your figure out of clamshell packaging. Uh, it is just a blister card. So that's one advantage of it, but it's very, very, you know, it takes you back to that. And, you know, it, it, it's great to remember those old figures. In fact, I may uh, pull out a couple of the older Iron Mans for this review and some of the uh, accessories like the stand. I won't be able to find the comic book because I gave it to my children. But the figures uh, that I might be able to, to lay my hands on. Um, you know, here we have Captain America, Daredevil, Avengers, Fantastic Four, X-Men, Spider-Man, and then it just repeats, and it's the same on the other side, just in a different order. Uh, Marvel Series 1, 4 and up, assortment number. Warning, don't stick things in your pie hole, Hasbro print. And a nice big blister showcasing the figure and his accessories, but not all of them because there's a stand in there and you can't see it. And there's the, it's supposed to be a comic, but it's just a cardboard background, and it is double-sided, which we'll show when, when we do uh, the figure and accessories. Marvel Legends! Iron Man, 20 years! Wow, I can't believe it has been 20 years. 20 years of Marvel Legends. Holy moly. Anyway, on the top here, nothing, bottom nothing, side nothing, side nothing, because, you know, it's a blister on a card. And let me put that back out. Same on, on the sides here, same as uh, stuff as the front. Marvel Legends, Iron Man, and there's a nice product shot of the figure, the stand, and the background. 20th anniversary, and let's see what it says. For 20 years, the Marvel Legends series has brought the iconic characters and storylines of the Marvel Universe to fans worldwide. To celebrate the 2002 Toy Biz debut release, Marvel Legends proudly presents the 20th Anniversary Series 1 featuring Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, and Toad! Awesome, they just hadn't showed him yet. Come on, we want to see what Toad looks like, guys. And there it is in some other languages that I don't read. Attention, don't stick things in your French pie hole. Achtung, small parts. Don't put them in your mouth because that's your pie hole. And we don't put things in your pie hole that don't belong there. Small print, fine print, legalese print, made in China print, symbols I'm not going to learn, a barcode, Hasbro print, recycled print, and Marvel print. And that, my friends, completes a look at the packaging. It's now time to take a look at the figure and his accessories. And let's start off with the accessories. And here's 
handy dandy tweezers, but we won't need them right this second. First of all, here is the backdrop insert. Uh, Iron Man number 174, which I do not believe is the comic that came with the Toy Biz. Now this, however, does take you back to that old diorama type stand that came with him. The original Toy Biz figure that is. But yeah, I don't I don't remember exactly, but I don't think this one was it. I could be wrong though. Let me know in the comments if you know. Uh, here's the Marvel Legends logo on the stand with the channel here in the back. And the way that channel works is just like that. The backdrop slides into the channel and becomes part of the stand. And here we have... I told you we were going to start seeing a lot of these smoke effects start coming out now that they have the mold for it so he comes with two so that's pretty cool then he has two of the repulsor blasts same as the 80th and just about every iron man figure on that body in fact every iron man figure on that body i think so, pretty nice looking. Then, he comes with the splayed blast hands on the figure and comes with a set of fists. Again, the same one, same mold as the 80th Anniversary Iron Man. Then, we have the Charles Bronson Tony Stark head. And it does look nice. And it looks like Charles Bronson and Tony Stark as he appeared back during the era in which he wore that particular armor. On through like the late 60s and early 70s. So it was very nice. Nice eyeball paint amps, mustache, the comic booky blue wash in the hair. So, very neat. Now let's take a look at the figure himself, and it's not really anything new. It's the 80th body minus the power pods on the hips. So you could almost use this one as the comic colors, um, you know, classic. That's what I like to call it, Iron Man. By using the helmet that came with Hologram Iron Man, or A Tony Stark AI Iron Man. Same yellows same reds so and you could still use this one that that hit on this body uh, to give it that more comic accurate look so he doesn't have the blue uh, where it sh shouldn't be blue but other than that red yellow comic book colors I think he rather nice looking figure and we finally with this particular version you know we actually get this helmet now they got to do a uh, comic version mark one armor and from that one they can do a mark two just by repainting it gold all right let's take a look at his articulation at the head he can look up that far. He can look down 
that far. Let's move this out of the way. It's causing the camera to go out of focus. So, and it's on, you know, the hinge and ball. Ball and hinge, whatever you want to call it. And of course, he can do the full exorcist. And he's got a little bit of waggle in there. Waggle, waggle. At the shoulders. Looks like he only wants to raise it up about that far. 360 degrees of rotation on a soft ratchet. Cut here at the upper bicep for another 360 degrees of rotation. A double hinge pinned elbow. Gives you that much range of motion, so it's not too bad. And at the wrist, no hinge but he does have rotation. Now the uh, fists, just like the 80th, they are on hinges and they're on in and out hinges. And then of course, you know, holes in the hands for the repulsor blasts. And that actually wasn't his, that was another review I was getting ready to do along with that one but anyway works the same because they are the same pew, pew. all right standard Hasbro Marvel Legends ab crunch you can crunch backwards that far and forwards that far. He does get another 360 degrees of rotation at the waist. At the legs, he can give you that much of the splits. He kicks forward about 90 degrees backwards. Eh, not much at all. Cut at the upper thigh for 360 degree rotation. Double hinged pinned knee and gives you that much range of motion which again isn't bad and you know pinned elbows and knees aren't the worst thing in the universe then on the upper shin a boot cut because he's wearing a boot an iron boot at the ankle down that much And it's on a... It ratchets when it does it. Up that far. And of course, forward facing pin for Rocker. That, my friends, does it for a look at the figure and accessories. Now we come to my favorite part of a review. The comparisons. And we're going to start things off with his fellow 20th anniversary figure, Captain America, Steve Rogers. And now we're going to get into the nitty gritty. There are 26 comic book Iron Mans. I left all the MCU Iron Mans that I have out, but I have 26 Iron Mans. That's with Hasbro and Toy Biz. So, let's go. Up first, we have that Wave 1 Toy Biz Iron Man. And here's the repaint of that Iron Man in the stealth colors. Here is Toy Biz's version of the Silver Centurion. Here is the Mark I armor. Again, this is Toy Biz.
Here is the Thor Buster armor. Here is the Hulk Buster armor. Again, this is Toy Biz. Here is Toy Biz's take on the modular armor Iron Man. They're both kind of leaning over to the side. Tony done fell off the bandwagon. Here is Toy Biz's modern armor Iron Man. And for the last Toy Biz Iron Man, here is the House of M. Iron Man without all the extra guns and stuff. And from here on, it's all Hasbro. Here is the Ultimate Iron Man. Here's Hasbro's earlier take on this version of the armor. And again, this one has the power pods on it and it shouldn't. Um, this was from the Ironmonger Build-A-Figure Wave. And here is the stealth version of that mold. That was in a Toys R Us 2-pack. Here is Big Boots 90's Iron Man. Here is Small Boots 90's Iron Man. This is the retro carded version. Here is, I think they call this the Star Armor or Space Armor. I don't remember. I don't remember which one this one is. It was billed as a comic book figure, but it looks like a repaint of one of the MCU figures to me. I mean, it's on that mold. I think this is the same mold that they used for the hologram Iron Man. I believe this one is the Marvel Now armor. Here is the Walgreens exclusive Silver Centurion Iron Man. Which I think shares some parts of this uh, 80th mold. Here's the only non-comic book Iron Man that I'm using in the comparisons. This is the Gamerverse Air Attack Armor. I think is what they called it. It was Air something. And here we have War Machine. Here is Hologram Iron Man. Here he is with the Modular Armor Iron Man. Here's the Tony Stark AI. Iron Man. Here he is with Iron Man 2020, which is the same mold as the 80th, just a different head. And it has these overlays, and it does not have the power pods. It has these weapons on the sides. And here is the stealth armor. Iron Man on that 80th anniversary body. And for the final Iron Man, here we have the 80th anniversary, which is the 80th anniversary of Marvel Comics Iron Man, whereas this one is the 20th anniversary of Marvel Legends Iron Man just to straighten out any confusion should you have any. For the final Marvel Legends comparison, 
Here he is with Stan the Man Lee. How does he compare with other lines, you might ask? Well, let's take a look. Here, from G.I. Joe Classified Series, we have the Hasbro Pulse Exclusive Regal Variant Cobra Commander. From Star Wars The Black Series, Archive Wave, the 501st Clone Trooper. And for some 7-inch goodness, here we have him with McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Batman Beyond. And whew, that, my friends, completes the comparisons. For final thoughts on the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary Iron Man, I'm glad we finally gotten this version of the armor in, I guess you could say, an accurate size or a more accurate size. Um, I'm glad we they decided to go with this version of the armor instead of just doing a straight up uh, repaint of the 80th anniversary Iron Man in the comic book colors. Um, you know, it's a little disappointing that they didn't use a whole lot of new pieces. Almost everything in this pack was reused except for the stand, the backdrop, and the Tony Stark head, and the Iron Man head that comes with this one. The body, the other accessories, they're all reused. So it would have been nice to get maybe one or two other new pieces, but... You know, they opted not to go with that. So, but overall, you know, it's still a nice mold. This the 80th Iron Man uh, body is a, a good body, and I think it's accurate to Iron Man. Decent articulation. Um, the shoulders don't raise up quite as much as I would have liked on this particular one. But it is what it is. A vast improvement over the original Toy Biz figure, I would say. A lot of things changed in 20 years. That completes the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just to help the channel out further, or both. That would be totally awesome. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.